New research is showing us that stimulating the brain with alternating electrical currents can bring back vision loss from glaucoma. In this video, I'm going to review all the latest research about this exciting new neurostimulation treatment called repetitive transorbital alternating current stimulation. I'm going to talk about who may benefit from this treatment and what kind of results patients can expect. By the way, I'm Dr. Michael Chua. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and I make videos to help you see better, look better, and feel better too. So the concept of neurostimulation has been gaining popularity recently, not only in ophthalmology, but also in several fields of medicine, such as psychiatry and pain medicine. For example, transcranial magnetic stimulation uses non-invasive magnetic fields to stimulate nerve cells in the brain associated with mood regulation and has been showing promising results for treating depression. In pain management, doctors can implant a device that delivers electrical impulses to the spinal cord to help manage chronic back and limb pain. And recently, we are now seeing some promising research investigating the use of neurostimulation for treating glaucoma. The premise of the treatment is basically you wear a pair of goggles or a headset that delivers alternating electrical currents to your optic nerve and brain. Treatment protocols still vary, but as an example, you'd use these goggles to receive neurostimulation treatments 10 days in a row for 60 minutes each session. The theory behind this electrical stimulation treatment is that you deliver electrical currents which mimic brain impulses. These electrical currents are delivered to the neurons in your optic nerve and brain. And the currents stimulate the nerve cells to synchronize or activate together in the same beat or frequency of the current that you're delivering. And the thought is, by getting your nerve cells and retinal cells to activate on the same wavelength, you can wake up or reactivate nerves that have been damaged or injured from glaucoma, leading to some vision recovery. Much of the early research on this treatment has been done by Dr. Sable out of Germany, and the treatment's already available in Europe. Dr. Sable published some of his results in 2016. It was a double-blinded, randomized control trial investigating the effects of this nerve stimulation on improving vision in patients with optic nerve damage. They took 82 patients with optic nerve damage and randomized them to either receive the neurostimulation treatment or to receive a sham treatment for 50 minutes a day for 10 days, then followed these patients for two months. They found that, on average, patients who received the neurostimulation treatment had a 24% improvement in their visual field testing compared to before treatment, while those who received the sham treatment only had a 2.5% improvement in their visual field testing. That's a very interesting result because when us ophthalmologists are treating glaucoma, generally our expectation is that we're doing our best to try to prevent further vision loss from occurring. Generally, we don't have any effective ways to bring back the vision that's lost from glaucoma. And so this study gives us hope that maybe there'll be some treatment options in the future to help patients regain some of their vision. In terms of side effects, the researchers reported that two neurostimulation patients reported temporary vertigo or feeling like the room was spinning. One patient reported temporary dizziness and one patient reported a mild headache. So relatively few side effects. So these are very promising results for this new treatment. But let's dive in a little further so we can get a more realistic expectation of what this treatment can deliver in terms of vision improvement. This is a series of visual field tests of a patient with glaucoma as they slowly lost their vision over five years. These visual field tests allow us to accurately measure a patient's peripheral vision, which is usually what gets affected by glaucoma. Areas of black are areas where the patient has lost significant vision, while areas of gray are where the patient has lost mild to moderate vision, and areas of white are where they still have good vision. And the pattern you'll notice, this is usually what we see in glaucoma, is that the visual field defect starts on the nasal side and progresses until they're left with tunnel vision. And unfortunately for some, even that remaining tunnel vision can eventually become extinguished, leaving the patient totally blind. And the general thought is the retinal ganglion cells responsible for say, this area of vision, where there's already severe vision loss indicated by the dark box shading, these cells are dead, they're gone, they're not coming back. But it's these cells responsible for this area here, the gray portion, where there's mild to moderate damage done these cells are very critical because they are injured from the glaucoma. They're hanging precariously off of a cliff. And unfortunately, if the glaucoma damage continues, then these cells are going to die too. And that's how we see the spread of visual field loss of glaucoma. And so going back to our neurostimulation treatment, researchers have reported that if patients had an improvement in their visual fields, they usually saw these improvements at the edge of the visual field defects, at the areas where we have injured cells, but not totally dead cells. And that's the expectation that patients should have with this neurostimulation treatment. We're not expecting all of the vision to come back because we still don't have a way to regenerate dead nerve cells. But the hope is there may be a little bit of improvement at the edge of the visual field cuts because 
perhaps the neurostimulation treatments are reactivating those injured nerve cells. And going back to our study, here's a visual field result provided by Dr. Sable. We see that there's quite a bit of improvement of the visual field, but we don't see a full return of the vision. Another important finding from this study was that the visual acuity of patients, meaning the central vision that we use to read letters on an eye chart, the visual acuity for patients did not significantly improve with neurostimulation treatment compared to sham treatment. The benefits were more seen on the peripheral visual field testing instead. And we have to remember that this is a relatively small study with only 45 patients receiving the treatment and a relatively short follow-up period of only two months. But these are exciting findings because this new treatment can give certain glaucoma patients some of their vision back. And so far, it's been shown to be quite safe. This earlier study has garnered interest from glaucoma researchers around the world. And now there's currently an ongoing randomized control trial led by Dr. Jeffrey Goldberg at Stanford, Dr. Joel Schumann at Will's Eye Institute, and Dr. Joseph Panarelli at NYU, which will investigate this new treatment method in greater detail. The expected completion date of this study is at the end of 2024, so it'll be interesting to see what results they share with us in the near future. If their results are similar to the positive findings from Dr. Sable's original study, this will give a stronger base of evidence for this treatment. Now, before this treatment is ready for prime time, there are a few key points I'd like to learn more about before offering it to patients. Firstly, is the long-term safety data. We have some of those early results from Germany showing a good safety profile at two months, but I'd like to see how the safety profile holds up maybe six months, a year, and several years down the road after treatment. The other question is length of efficacy. It's not clear to me for how long after treatment can patients expect to enjoy their visual field improvement. Is this a permanent improvement? Does it last for months, years? And what are the optimal treatment protocols for neurostimulation? We have to determine the best frequency, duration, and intensity of neurostimulation sessions that will allow us to maximize the benefits while minimizing risks. Another question we'd want to figure out is, which patients are most likely to benefit from this therapy? Are there certain clinical characteristics that will help to predict a positive response to treatment? Is it patients with a certain subtype of glaucoma, certain types of visual field defects, or is it patients with a certain severity of glaucoma that are the best candidates for treatment? And of course, costs and accessibility. How much will this treatment cost? How will we offer it to patients? And will insurance cover this treatment? So still early stages with a lot of questions to be answered before neurostimulation is widely offered as a glaucoma treatment. But it's still very exciting that we may finally have an option to offer to patients that will help them gain some of their vision back. And if you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County or Inland Empire area and want a comprehensive glaucoma evaluation, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. And if you made it this far into the video, that probably means you're really interested in learning about all the latest treatments for glaucoma. You can watch my video here to learn more about why vitamin B3 is showing promise as a useful supplement for patients with glaucoma. I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Piney Hills Eye Care. See you next time.